Is the Kirkland Signature three-piece just as good as the discontinued four-piece? Let's find out. So guys, last week I did a review of this guy, the four-piece Kirkland Signature Tour Performance. Didn't even realize at the time that they were discontinued. I knew they were hard to get, but uh, yeah, they don't even make them anymore. Apparently they got in a lawsuit with Titleist, whatever. Don't even really know, but they came out with this model now, a three-piece. Looks a little bit different. We're going to see how they uh, stack up against each other, play three holes, a par three, par four, and a par five. Have a long drive competition, do a little short game test. Let's get started with the par three, 174 yards into the wind. Let's see how these balls stack up. Really good ball flight on that uh, four-piece golf ball. You guys saw that I liked it in that last review. Let's see if the three-piece is just as good. Up at the golf balls, the three-piece didn't really have as nice of a ball flight into the wind, kind of got beaten up a little bit, but uh, it's right here. And then the four-piece is up on the green, a little bit more of a penetrating ball flight. I'm going to play them in from here, see how they play off the uh, wedge around the green. Both felt pretty similar off of the uh, little chip shot. Let's go see how they feel off the putter. Off of the putter, guys, the three-piece felt a little bit firmer, but uh, that doesn't really bother me. Let's get started with this 420-yard par four. Gonna try and go over those trees today, a little bit downwind. Let's see how close we can get them. Absolutely crushed the uh, four-piece. Let's see how the three-piece goes. A little bit higher ball flight on the three-piece. Let's, uh, let's go see where they landed. Up at those golf balls, guys, the uh, three-piece didn't go quite as far. Equidistant uh, as far as this goes, but as the angle of the hole, probably about five or six yards shorter, but that could be down to my swing or anything like that. So we're going to play them in from here. Got about 160 yards. Let's see if we can't get this ball to stop. The pin, once again, is right tucked behind that bunker. Got to stop this one really quickly. So let's see how much they spin off an iron out of the rough. Pretty nice ball flight on that uh, three-piece. It kind of feels a little clunky off the face, but uh, the ball flight's good, so it really doesn't matter. Let's go with the four-piece now. Up at the golf balls, guys. I think I uh, misjudged the distance perfectly with both of them. Both uh, 10 uh, feet short of the green. Probably should have taken one more club, but similar ball flight, even though they feel really different off the face. Let's do a little short game test. I think it's uh, about to rain, so let's uh, get this in, hopefully. The three-piece actually seems to spin a little bit more around the greens. I would have thought the four-piece did, but uh, yeah. Let's go hit a full wedge shot, see how they spin off of a full wedge shot. Four-piece up first on this full wedge shot. Really nice ball flight. That's pretty much exactly like how I'm seeing my wedge go through the air. Let's see how the three-piece goes. That one spun back. Usually with the four-piece ball, it goes a little bit higher than a three-piece, but these balls are like completely different. The cover is different and everything, so it's not really holding up to you know the four-piece versus three-piece stuff, if that makes any sense to you. Let's go see where they ended up. Up at the green, guys, just checked out their ball marks. They both stopped pretty quickly. The uh, three-piece actually spun back a little bit, maybe a foot, and the uh, four-piece released probably about a foot to two. So uh, not really that bad. That could be down to my swing, like I say in these things all the time. But uh, yeah, full wedge shot. Really good uh, performance from both of them. All right, long drive competition here. Let's see which one goes further. Absolutely killed the four piece. Let's see how the three piece goes.
little bit higher of a ball flight, but absolutely murdered both of those. Let's go see where they ended up. Up at the golf balls, guys, you know what's going to happen right now. They are exactly the same distance. I have no idea how far I hit them, but they both went the same distance. Absolutely killed both of them. So that's a good enough test for me in the distance. Off the irons, they pretty much went the same distance too. They're almost touching on that par four. So overall, guys, though, the three piece versus the discontinued four piece is one better than the other. Not really, they're just really different. The three piece goes a little bit higher, surprisingly, spins a little bit more around the greens, but overall, both of them are really good golf balls. Definitely recommend picking up the three piece when you can see them in the store. I think you can order them online too. Four piece, sell for $120 on Amazon. Don't spend that much money on these golf balls, even though they're pretty good. Let me know what other golf balls you want to see the three piece go up against, maybe the Snell MTBX. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe, we do golf ball testing all the time. Gonna do a lot of live course vlogs when the weather gets a little bit better, although it looks pretty nice right now. It's about to rain. Don't let that uh, dampen your day. Oh, whatever. We'll see you next time.